you know, we care about you guys, so we wanted to make some changes that really showed you how much we care. Oh yeah? Are you, uh, are you gonna raise our pay? Give us more PTO? Or not make our hours shit anymore? Uh, no. No, 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 no. We have something way better. You're, you're gonna get rid of the program that allows clients to bully us? So much better than that. Are you ready? I mean, I guess. Moving forward, on Thursdays, in the office, we have dance parties. I want to die so bad. All right, listen up. This message is for every one of you snitches that shared that video. <laughs> I thought we were homies. I thought we were just liking it and, you know, vibing on TikTok, okay? Why am I saying this? Why am I yelling? I'll tell you why I'm yelling. I got fired because of that video yesterday. <laughs> Anyway, I get it. I hurt their feelings because I told the truth and I said that they have dance parties and they don't want- I- I got fired on the dance- on the day of those dance parties. Are you fuck- Anyway, drop my Venmo if anyone wants to help me out because I'm unemployed now and also, uh, if you have any job prospects, feel free to reach out to me. <laughs> Isn't it incredible how disconnected the employers sometimes are? Not only are they disconnected from what their employees actually want, but they are also extremely petty and immature. Like this girl mocked them, obviously, for having dance parties. Like, is this elementary school or maybe even high school? Like, what is going on? This is supposed to be a professional place of work. People are selling you their time, their labor in exchange for money. And if you actually want to appreciate your employees, it's as simple as giving them more money or giving them time off with money, paid time off, something along those lines. Not pizza, not a little certificate saying congratulations, you're special, blah, blah, blah. People, I don't think actually care about this. I mean, no one that I've ever talked to actually cared about these types of things. So it's very curious to me while employers still do them. Well, I mean, curious. You could definitely say that they do this as a way to say, look, we've done something. We've recognized your work effort without giving you any sort of pay because at the end of the day that's what matters pay money and if they can find all sorts of ways to avoid the actual issues the actual problems whatever that thing is and pretend that they are actually doing something meaningful and relevant they will they'll do it now it's the first time that I actually hear a dance party at work but it's pretty hilarious that someone who made fun of her employers for that dance party now got fired I mean, it's horrific, but I mean, it's so pretty funny that they've been called out on it. And they were so embarrassed that they had to fire her. If I was the employer, I mean, first of all, I would never have imposed a dance party on my employees, but you just have to laugh at it because it is ridiculous. But yeah, it's probably the, the curse of HR. The people in HR, I think they believe their own bullshit. And <laughs> it's probably an extrovert. It's, the, it's always the extroverts at work that annoy the introverts and they want to do meetings and they want us to do all sorts of team exercise, team building, just leave me alone. Like the time that we're wasting with your dance parties, like in that case, are your team building exercises. I could just be either doing more work or if you don't have enough work to give me, obviously not because we're messing around doing those useless exercises, then I could just be going home. So why are you not letting me go home? <laughs> I mean, like I work for government and we do have those team building exercises. It's not as ridiculous, and especially during the pandemic, you're just in a meeting. You can turn off your camera, play video games or something, and just listen in case they mention your name. But when I was at the office, we sometimes did ridiculous meetings like this, but it was more so a celebration and stuff. Like, even celebrations, to me, just let me go home early, and that will be my celebration. If I'm not working, I don't need to be here. But yeah, nothing as bad as you see in the private sector, which I find is incredible in some cases. One time I worked at a car wash when I was young for a summer job, and we had tips where you could simply put money in like a jar and the jar was surprisingly full and it was with like pretty hefty bills like ten dollars twenty dollars you'd be surprised how generous people are but every month instead of distributing that tip to employees what the bosses would do is bring us to like, a restaurant or something a pizza restaurant and celebrate i'm like Okay, look at how much money is in that jar. How much money are you actually making for the entire month? Don't tell me you're not putting the rest in your pocket, like spending a little bit, maybe $200 on the pizzas, or $100, I don't even know. Wasn't that huge of a team. And then pocketing the rest. I don't trust them. And they turned out to be assholes. They fired me. Which, by the way, when you have corporations that have high turnovers because of firing, it's not the employees. It is the bosses, in my experience. But yeah, there, there's abuse. There's ridiculousness, and that just is on another level. There's also a lesson to be taken here is that you never actually show your face if you are going to criticize your bosses. 
if you're gonna be on Glassdoor and stuff, leave a bad review. Don't use your name and your own email. Like, wh why do you think I make these videos and not show my face? I wish I could show my face, but I don't want to be recognized because then I would be exposed and I could put my career in a bad place. Anyways, guys, that's it. Work culture sucks. Extroverts are ruining the life of introverts, <laughs> at work at least. And it's ridiculous. And HR are completely useless, they have bullshit jobs. Humans are not resources, we're humans. Calling us resources and managing human resources makes it sound so robotic, I absolutely hate it. But that's just me. Peace.